I'm Justine with Blue Jay Orchids. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. What do you guys think of the new intro? Yeah, the first one was too short, last one was too long, so I tried to get the right um, length this time. And then also, what do you guys think of the new logo? My um, very talented friend, Sandy from, I can never say their company's name, um, Pato Casero. Um, she uh, designed it for me. So she also has an Instagram page that um, she's been putting some of her orchid art on, which is awesome. So um, yeah, I guess I'll put a screenshot and do that at the end of the video. But we're going to do a little, um, I call it low invasive repot. Um, yeah, it's maybe I'll come up with a better name, but basically I'm not going to rip the roots apart. I'm not going to worry about taking all the media out. This plant is still in good shape. It's just, it's going to fall over and be too wet in the plastic pot in my environment because I grow outside. So I'm literally just popping it out and putting it in terracotta. So I take you step by step. So that's the video coming up and then I will check in with you guys at the end. Okay. Hey everyone, Justine with Blue Jay Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a little unpotting, or repotting, I guess. Sort of. You'll see. So I'm going to spray some Fison in my potting area. Let that sit for a sec. Then I'm going to use this to wipe it out. And then this is how I keep like a clean potting. It'd probably be better to use bleach, but I just don't have bleach on hand most of the time. I tend to have Fizum on hand most of the time, so. And then we are going to do a repotting, but it's going to be a little different. Because it's not a full-on repotting. And what I mean by that is... I got this beautiful thing on Friday, but in order to keep it outside where I'm going to grow it, it can't be in this. And yes, it's in spike. Yes, it has potential new spikes and buds, but we're not going to be invasive. I'm going to wet the plant and then I'm going to pop it out of the plastic and then simply put it in here. That's all I'm going to do. So it's not like a full-on repotting where I'm going to clean all the media off. So it'd be better to soak it, but for video's sake, just going to do the spray bottle. Get the roots nice and wet. I can, I'm doing this while I wait for the Fison to dry. So just wetting it nice. I'm going to put this in here. Let's wipe this out real quick. Because I don't remember the last thing I used this for, so I'm just being cautious and making sure this is clean to start with. Although the plant shouldn't be touching much of this, I'm going to keep it in the pot. Alright, so there's that. Close this. We're going to dump the water out of this real quick, so I'll be right back. All right, so now we're just going to take this out, and I'm going to get rid of any loose media that comes with it. So just squeezing the sides. Let's get a little bit more zoomy. There we go. So just squeezing the sides. Seeing if it will just pop right out for me. Yeah, it's starting to come a little bit. And see, came right out. So I don't want it to pot. 
tag I can leave there. So see, the roots are pretty... I don't see a whole lot of stuff I want to get rid of. Maybe just a little bit of stuff on the top. Just kind of shaking anything loose. Yeah, it wasn't potted that long ago, so like I said, this isn't an invasive repot. Just loosening a bit of the stuff at the bottom. Yeah, the roots look good. I don't see anything that I'm super concerned about. Remove this. Do this. So we got new growth here, new growth there. We got multiple directions. So for me, I'm just going to put it in the center because that's going to be the easiest to have it be most stable and upright. So I'm going to get the lava rock now. And just kind of put the lava rock around it so that it's secure in the pot. But yeah, so that's one of the ways that I will repot that's not really as invasive. Yep, just getting the lava rock, yeah, lava rock all around there. And then, see, that's not really going anywhere. Pretty straightforward. And then here's the name on it. Hold on. There you go. So Lelia Tenebrosa with Brazilian Angel. And the result is, dare I say, angelic. Very happy with this. And then while we're here, I'm going to give you a little tour of my lanai. Still a little bit of a work in progress, but yep, this is all done. She is good to go. Not a whole lot of wiggle there. Put the tag back in. Actually, with this one, since it's tied up, I'm going to put the tag here. So, give me a second, I'll tighten that. So, as you guys know, I've been working a lot on my lanai space. So, this is my foul area. Well, one of my two foul areas. 
And then I just need another teapot for up there. And I haven't decided I might move this too. And then this, see if I can get you. I'm gonna have to turn a little funky. But that opened up. That's my one foul area. This is new. We went on an RV trip and I stopped at Bach Towers and they had this here. I've been wanting a pitcher plant, so. And then this is um, shelving that I've done. So these are all my patio petalums. Some mixed stuff that hasn't found homes yet. That's new from Carl Smith. Oh, and look at this super cute little blue jay. So it's like a little pot clip thing. So I put that naturally on the new blue jay cat that I got. And then the Violacea seedlings. Um, this was from a meeting. And then just stuff. These two are going to go out there eventually. Oh yeah, back up and show you. Whoops, wrong way. Here we go. So another shelf. The umbrella is going to be like for blooming things. And then eventually I might do like teapot, teacup, teacup. But I'm going to wait and see. And this is more fowls. Beautiful fowl from Breadroom. See, look at that. That's pretty. And then this is, um, you know, the pot hangers with novelty phalaenopsis. This one just opened up recently. That one's from Blue Ridge Orchids. And then this is what we just repotted. But yeah, still working on what all lives here, but just thought I'd give you a little update on this area. Oh, and then need to get some footage of this guy in better lighting, but this smells amazing. And bloomed pretty well. So let's see if we can get the tag. But it's Dinansoniana crossed with Zane or something, or Zon. I don't know, I can't, I can never say the other name, but super fragrant. And, yeah. My lanai is small, but I've tried to be creative and come up with the best way possible to make use of it. And then I have the rug area here. I try to keep this area clear for the boys. And then we have to have a little grill. Originally I had plants here, but I had to give this area back to my husband. And then I have this pygmy here that's starting to pop open with some stuff. Oh, you can't see it. You can see it a little bit there now. I might show you the encyclia that just opened up. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. Let me know what you think of the new intro and the logo. I think it turned out very well. My um, friend is very talented. And like I said, I'm going to post some pictures of her Instagram in case anyone wants to follow her. And I was going to show the encyclia, but it is, um, I accidentally filmed it vertical instead of horizontal. So I'll just wait and I'll be doing a bloom video soon because I have a lot of stuff in spike and starting to open up. So spring has sprung here. So I'm excited about some of them. Eh, not some of them. I'm, ex I'm pretty excited about most of them. But um, yeah, been doing a lot of projects. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little Lanai tour. It's a very small space, but I try to maximize um, the little bit of space that I do have. And I am fortunate where I can grow outside. But um, I'm thinking about maybe doing some experimenting with inside growing, but 
I have to convince my husband to give me space. I might wait till the boys are older, because right now it's just going to end up being a toy. But I saw some cool things on Amazon that looked interesting as far as trying, as far as some lights and stuff. But, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I guess it's a good way to end with a little bit of ramblingness because that's how my mind works. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I do have one other little bit of randomness. I try to follow all the other Orchid YouTubers. So if you have an Orchid YouTube channel and you're watching my channel, um, drop a comment and I'll make sure I've, I am already following you. I think in this community, it's hard enough doing what we do as far as trying to bring good content that I feel like it is beneficial for us to support each other. So if you have a YouTube channel, um, I guess it doesn't have to be orchid related, but it has to be something I'm interested in. I mean, I'm not going to follow just to follow, but if you are a specific, spe yeah, specifically an orchid related YouTube channel, Drop a comment, let me know where you're from, and I will make sure I follow you back. Because let's spread the love. I don't know. I'm not the type of person that actually says that, so that kind of feels weird. But you guys know what I mean. Anyway, that's all I got for now, so keep growing. Bye.